Hey guys, what's up? It's Hazi. It has been a long, long time since my last video. Um, and I am here again with another affordable guitar review. And I've got about 15 or 20 in the works for you. I've been kind of going nuts, um, as I'm sure we all have. This one right here, as you can see by my light reflecting off there, is a higher-end model from Monoprice. It's called an Idlewild. And this one is Quilted Ash. It's a full body. This one does not come in cutaway. And the reason I say it's a higher end model is because this one usually runs $250 um, on their website. I bought it for $200 because I figured, hey, I'm getting it on sale. So um, I buy it and a week later I see that it's on sale for $149 and I'm a little pissed. So I call them up and kudos to them. Um, they sent me a credit for 53 bucks. Not a credit, but they, they sent me to replenish my, my credit card, uh, 53 bucks. So kudos to them. Um, make sure you guys do that. Don't just sit there and say, oh man, it sucks. You know, I got screwed because, you know, it went on sale later. Talk to them because, you know, more than, more than likely they're going to want to keep you happy, you know, because you bought something from them. They're, they're going to want to keep you buying stuff. Um, but this guitar is a really good guitar. Um, they say that it's set up by a master luthier. Well, that master luthier, I don't know about that because uh, it had some awful fret buzz. had really low action down here, especially on the uh, lower three strings here. Um, so it needed a little bit of work. Um, and luckily enough, my buddy Dave has a nice workshop and he's becoming a master luthier in his own right. Um, so what we did is we got that, um, to his shop and I'm going to tell you after this, what we did with it. Um, but here I was so excited about getting the guitar that I went and played it at a gig a couple of weeks ago. So here is about 30 seconds to a minute of me playing, uh, listen for me playing a G or any low strings because you can hear the vibration on it and the fret buzz is pretty bad. Um, but I did like the way it played and it was worth, you know, doing some work on and making it a good guitar. So, hope you enjoy this and I'll be right back. and all um still sounded pretty good we you know play through that bose system so and you can almost plug anything in there um but with the fishman isis pickup um it plays well uh just to go over i believe that they don't give you many specs on the website about this they just highlight the quilted ash um and i believe it, the woods of mahogany on there they don't say what the fretboard is i assume that it's it's rosewood or oven call or whatever you call it um, but it feels really nice so what to do about that low action that we had here so uh, we did an initial setup on it you know where you make the adjustments on the truss rod and uh, we raised the action on it a tad and then we were going to replace 
the nut and the bridge, we figured it's a monoprice guitar, and even though it's a higher end $250 guitar, um, it probably doesn't have a bone nut and bridge. But when we took the bridge out, and the bridge, if you haven't done it before, bridge will come right out. A bridge isn't glued in there or anything. So you can just basically, once you take the strings off, the tensions off it, and you can usually just slide them right out. And we gave it the plank test, which is just dropping it on a hard countertop. You can hear the resonance, what it sounds like. Plastic sounds different than bone. And then this one had a glassy sound to it, which more than likely meant it was tusk. And tusk is nice. Tusk is a good alternative to the cheap plastic that they put in there. It's, it's more along the quality of bone. So I decided I was going to leave the tusk uh, saddle and nut in there. It's always nice when you don't have to replace the nuts. Um, but what we did is uh, Dave just, uh, after he got the string adjustments to where we wanted them uh, by making the truss rod adjustment, um, we, uh, we set the action on it and then we shaved just a little bit off of that bridge and he made it perfect so now and now instead of that vibration even when you're playing an F you're not hearing it like you were in the in the video previously so I'm gonna play a little bit for you and um, just let you hear how it sounds basically what it sounds like um, sounds really good through an amp as you heard in the video earlier um, the Fishman pickup works really nice make sure that you wait for this thing to go on sale don't buy it at 250 um, if you can hold off don't buy it at 200 uh, the 149 for this is a really good deal um, it's a extremely pretty guitar um, with the quilted ash and I gotta say, this is a win for Mono Price. Um, I'm used to playing the cutaways. It's really nice to have a full-bodied guitar up there, and I've already gotten some nice compliments on it. Um, so I think this is a good guitar and definitely well worth the 149. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to answer them. Um, I'm still getting the sound, and I don't mean my guitar sound down. I'm talking about the sound for the video. So thanks for bearing with me. That will get better. I promise you. And um, I've got a lot more reviews to come soon, a lot more electrics, a lot more acoustics. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions, and have a great day as usual. I'm Hazi.